Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Fuzzy Ferret Farm in Stardew Valley. Ding! And we have got some crystal fruit wine. Very, very nice. Uh, let's make some melon wine for now, I think. Yeah, let's get that in there. Okay, well, let's go and check what's on the television today. A rerun of the Queen of Sauce. Uh, this is Plum Pudding. Little Jack Horner is chomping at the bit for this ooey-gooey delight that we already know how to make. And what about the fortune teller? Ah, uh, well, Wick, why? The spirits are very displeased today. I guess today is not a mining day, then. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, though. That's very nice to hear. Um, what kind of things we got in here, then? We've got quite a few things in there, actually. I wouldn't mind having another two sashimis, just for gifts, honestly, if nothing else. Let me just move that up onto my hot bar. Ooh, got some letters. I do like receiving mail in real life and in-game as well. How about... Sorry to bother you again, but I need another favour. I got a new hammer, and I want to try it on a variety of metals. Could you smelt an iron bar and bring it to me? Thanks. Uh, sure, I guess. Discover the purpose of the skull key. Favour of Clint. Bring Clint an iron bar. Do I have an iron bar? I may not, but I may have plenty of copper. Uh, no. No, I do not. That is unfortunate. Okay, uh, well, I'll bear that in mind then. That is something that we're going to need to do. But it, uh, aggro... Ah, uh, let's go and grab ourselves quite a few things, actually. We'll pick these up. There we go. And we'll grab these as well and reload the traps, too. There we go. We're, we're slowly getting more and more and more. Let's go and check. Do I actually have any seeds? Seeds, 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 seeds. No, I do not. Well, damn Dratton Blast. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to make more then. And unfortunately, I'm going to have leftovers this time for definite. Which isn't something I really like, I'll be honest. Uh, do I only need... I only need one. That's good. Just as well. Let's get those done. And quickly get this set up, shall we? The nice thing about this is I'm only going to have to work on one tile. Uh, that is water, one tile. There we go. All sorted. And then these seeds can go elsewhere. Right, aggro, if you... Ooh, let's go and grab these, shall we? There we go. I guess today, then, we're just going to be wandering around, picking up a few things. We're probably not going to go to the mine, given the uh, forecast for how the spirits are feeling at the moment. I mean, we don't strictly need to only go down the mine when they're in a good mood. But you may as well, really. Uh, we've got a lot of good stuff, though, from that haul. Uh, maybe today is the day that we order, uh, organize our inventory. Nah. Nah, we're not going to do that. That would be silliness. No, we're going we're gonna to let this persist for a little while longer. This, this semi-ordered chaos. I say semi because it's not really ordered in any way, shape, or form, but I'm going to try and tell myself that so I feel less bad. We'll do it eventually. All right, let's uh, drop that off. But, Agro, would you ferry me down to the cows, please? Thank you. Got a decent bit of forage there, though. Not too bad. What a da, pal. There we go. And also give you a big old pet. Another gold milk. Wow, iridium milks. So many iridium milks. You know what? I suspect that it helps if I pat them before I milk them. Um, well, the large iridium milk is just going to be sold straight up, but the small one can be turned into cheese. There we go. And let's head straight back up and drop this off. Also drop off the winter root while we're at it. Uh, did I have any in there? I don't think I did. We'll drop that one in there then. There we go. All of this can go. Now, next, and possibly something I should have done first. But <laughs> I'll leave I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forgot. I did, well, I didn't, I mean, I, I didn't forget entirely. I just kind of, like, forgot to do it first. I usually, ooh, what? A new baby duckling is hatched! Hooray! That duck is going to be called Aria. What a lovely name. 
There we are. Oh, this is happy times. New duckling, please. Let's get that duck in there. There we go. Oh, did I uh, did I get the food for the cows? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, no. I have convinced myself that I have not fed my cows. I'm going to have to go back and check. I know, I know, I know. Waste of, waste of energy and time. I know, I know. It's bad. But I'd sooner waste a bit of time than not feed my cows. I hope you can you can uh, forgive me for that. Uh, but before we go down, let's go and check out here. Now, I believe it's Rasmodius' birthday today. We'll just leave that in there. So we're going to need to go and grab Rasmodius something and head on out. Uh, anything to harvest? Uh, yes, actually. Let's harvest these. There we go. Perfect. And with that, we're leaving. Right, okay. Well, that's not terribly bad, all things considered. Uh, in fact, let's grab Rasmodius' present. Uh, which one we got the most of? We got the most of those. That'll do. And we can drop off some strawberries, a little bit of everything in there, I think. And we'll go check on the cows before we head out to visit Rasmodius and give him a birthday present. I fed them. I fed them. I did it on autopilot. I should have trusted myself not to do something terrible, like not feed the cows. Like, you know, that's like on par with not feeding the chickens. We all know that I would never, ever forget to do that. No, no, no. Anyone who tells you that I did that in the first series is just, just a, a dissenter trying to sow discontent. Don't believe them. Don't check either. There we go. It does. It does amuse me actually. Sometimes. <laughs> Thinking back, because I was there were times when I was literally saying, "Right, I must not forget not to feed them today," because I forgot to feed them yesterday, and I just walk out while I'm in the middle of saying I'm not going to forget it. Oh my goodness! I I don't know how my brain is wired, but I'm fairly certain something has gone wrong somewhere. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm popular. Hooray! I think. Let me check on what's popular. Popular. Reach five hard level with a, with 20 people. Oh, that's actually quite lovely. Also, how are you doing? It takes years of study to understand the language of the elementals. To actually speak their language requires a lifetime of devoted effort. Uh, well, not for me then. I, I am busy making friends and also growing stuff. It's mostly what my focus is on at the moment. Hello. We will grab these since we're here. Uh, do I have my axe with me? I do have my axe with me. Sure, okay, let's uh, do a little bit of wood choppery then. Um, Agro, would you like to go for a, mo uh, a mountain stroll today? I, th I think we, we should. We'll, we'll go for a stroll up the mountain. Oops. And I'll also hatchet the snow for a little bit for, you know, whatever reason. Don't question my methods. Um, I'll also grab you. Uh, we're at that point now where it's very uncommon for us to get anything, any new items that we haven't already handed in to Gunther, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, do we have anything for Leah? I'm afraid we don't. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, look at all this forage, though. It's not going too bad. You can raise forage very quickly just by um, uh, chopping trees, because that technically counted as forage. Howdy! You can use a scythe to cut feed from grass. I know, it's actually really, really good. It's keeping me going at the moment. Let's head into town, and then we'll... Ooh, no, I'm not going to go and check on that. We're going to head into town, then we'll swing by and go visit uh, Robin. See if she's got any new furniture for me. Ellie and I aren't made for such a big house. It's a hassle to keep it clean. Ah, well. I really shouldn't be complaining. No, you complain all you want. Your farmhouse seems nice and cosy, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, your sister's not here. Where is your sister on a chilly day like today? She's not usually one for going outside in the snow. Unless that element of my personality is also rubbing off on her. In which case, well done. I approve. I still come by every night to collect your produce, even in the snow. What a trooper. Uh, I see no doctor. Man, no one's around today. Closed on a Wednesday. Of course, yes. Closed on a Wednesdays. Blah. Oh, well. 
Um, well, just on the off chance, is, is Haley up here, perhaps? Oh, she is. Oh, hello, Haley. I think I'm starting to realise that clothes aren't the most important thing, right? I still like clothes, though. I mean, what's wrong with expressing yourself a little? Indeed, I agree. Here you go, have a sunflower. Oh my god, this is my favourite thing! You are more than welcome. Hi, Caroline. Hi there, do you have everything you need for the farm? Um, yeah, for the most part, I'd say I do. Um, thank you for asking. Here's a crocus. Oh goodness, are you sure? I am indeed. Oh, they look so happy when they receive gifts as well. It's lovely. Uh, let's see. Haley. Wow, we've got Haley, Shane, Emily, Penny, Abigail, and Elliot all at eight hearts. Marnie is at eight hearts. Lu uh, Linus is at nine. Um, Pam's at eight hearts as well. Maru, Demetrius, we're, we're actually getting up there quite, quite well. There are a couple of people though. You can tell who I don't see too often. And all the way down here. I can't believe that Evelyn is so, so low down at the moment. That is, that is not something that I can allow. Let's go and say hello to Evelyn. I know I might miss out on uh, visiting Robin today, but damn it, I must say hello to Evelyn. Now, of course, the uh, big problem with with trying to improve George's relationship is that I need leeks for him, and that's a forage item in the spring. Or, if you've got the mushroom cave, you can very easily get him his favourite meal. Oh, it is my grandson. Have I told you that already? Um, yes. Huh? Speak up. Um, yeah, let's move on. I usually tend to the gardens, but they're covered in snow. I go out and shovel them if you want. I still like to check up on them now and then. Here you go, Evelyn. Come on. There we are. <gasps> this is absolutely marvellous! You've made an old lady very happy. Oh, that is... That is the best reward, honestly. The best reward. Right, let us head off up to the mountain to check on Robin and see if perhaps she has any furniture. Ooh. Hello there, Mara. Here you go. Is that... Oh, wow, I have a... This is spectacular. You're more than welcome. I guess winter is a good time to work on my gadgets. Uh, yes. I wonder if I could make anything useful for farmers. Mm, yes, probably. I suggest you make... Mm, let me think. What would I find most useful? A robot that harvests my crops for me. That would, that would be pretty useful, actually. That, that would be super useful. But I'm not talking about some great hulking, you know, combat harvester. I'm, I'm talking about a, a little skittering robot, like, like an insect robot. Maybe maybe I could just teach it to harvest anything. And then basically from its programming, we'd just understand the idea of nurturing and caring for things. And eventually, you know, maybe we'd start growing people on plants and caring for them and then plugging them into a giant machine to power itself. Oh, it'd be grand. Hey there, Avak. Things escalate quickly in my brain. It's something you're just going to need to get used to. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Wonderful. Have you got new carpentry projects for me to buy? Because I would really like that. Like, super duper like it. <sighs> um, no. <sighs> kind of nice, though. Can't deny that. Furniture catalog costs more than I've made so far, so that's a big old nope. And the best end tables are nice. I could buy a couple of those and start putting things on, but I think I'll leave it for now. However, let's look at farm building, shall we? We could get a new coop for uh, fowl, for rabbits, for dinosaurs, for all those wonderful things. We could buy a shed. We don't quite have enough money for that, unfortunately. Uh, a slime hutch, I'd need a lot of I mean, I've got almost enough for that. Need a little bit more money for the deluxe barn. Or rather, the big barn. Um, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting the second barn, though. Alright, I need 350 wood and 150 stone. Let's see if I can get that much. Uh, 150 and 350 wood. Come on, don't put me down to float. No. Damn it. Drat. Almost. Perhaps I can quickly pop outside and chop down some trees. Let's let's quickly have a look 
I might be able to get enough to get a second bar on, on the go. Maybe if we're super duper lucky. But I've got to do it quickly. I only need a little bit, and that's the annoying thing. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Quickly, take me back, aggro. Got no time to waste. Swiftly now. Robin, don't you dare move from behind the counter. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> right, okay, I want a new barn. We must expand the flock. Uh, I mean, the herd. Uh, right, okay, well... Um, I could put one there, and then one over there, I guess, and I'd have... Or I could put it there, and I'd have, like, a path of two between them. You know what? I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I quite like that idea, actually. Hmm. Yeah, sure, okay, we'll pop the next barn right by there. Ah, oh, fantastic, our farm is growing. I feel that we used our money well today. Okay, I'll start working on your new barn first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Robin. Um, would you like this? Thanks, this is really nice, you're welcome. Uh, I've also got a strawberry for your husband. Hello, Demetrius. You're giving this to me? This is amazing! It's the best gift I've ever had! Do you have a kitchen in your house yet? Yes, I do. Cooking is kind of like doing lab work. Yeah, it depends. I can definitely see the similarity, though. Ooh, here we are. No. Hello, Sebastian. I really love this. How did you know? Well, you told me last time. As it happens. Okay, I feel like I've done really, really well today. Super duper well. We've got a new barn on the go. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. Uh, right. Let's grab you, whatever you may be. Some wild seeds, that's fine. Some more crocus flowers, grab you. Let's go and check on Linus. Linus! Are you in the tent? Or are you in the bathhouse? You're probably in the bathhouse then. Okay. Let's go and say hello. Um, then, you know what, maybe we'll we'll hit the... We'll uh, head down into the... Uh, oh, I'm sure you understand why I'm cautious of strangers. Yeah, of course I do. You've told me. Here we go. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Wow, you... Oh, not quite. Not quite at full heart yet. Well, we've actually made some, some really good progress this winter on our social relationships. I'm really, really happy. Um, yeah, you know what? We could go to the caves, or I could just fish. And it's been a little while. For sure. Okay. I must remember that my cast is now extremely good. There we go. What kind of offering from the lake spirits are we going to get today? Oh, it was almost a perfect offering, whatever it was. It's a chub. It's fine. I think we can sit here and just make a little bit of money from the fish today. At least until the bubbles go. We might hit the quarry following that, rather than going down the mines. There we are. I mean, we haven't got particularly good luck at the moment, so... This, in and of itself, is pretty good. Ooh, what are you? You are not a chub. Oh dear, oh dear, that was bad. Never just take your, your finger off the mouse button. Just constantly tap it as you're descending, so that it adjusts. There we go. We're going to have to do this one properly, so you're going to hear a lot of mouse clicking, because the best way to do it is just regular taps, rather than any prolonged uh, removal or any prolonged um, pressing of the button. This is a difficult fight, though, to be fair. Wow, you are really making me work for this. Well done, you. This is an epic battle. I wouldn't even mind if I lost this one. You've earned it. I'd rather win, but I'd rather be the one that, that, that earned the victory, but, you know, damn it. I was completely missing that way. What on earth have we got? I really want to know at this point. Oh, come on. We're almost there. Come on, you. Don't. No. Ah. You. Very, very tricksy. Whatever you are, you're probably going to be amazing. What are you? You're a sturgeon. A 12 inch sturgeon. Really? After all that effort. I'm a little bit disheartened, I must confess. I must confess, I, I was really having to struggle there. Uh, just grab that, thank you. And we've got a bullhead. 
<laughs> and a piece of paste. Oh, uh, it's fine. The sturgeon wasn't even particularly high quality. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna mess around with that that area. Oh, you. I know what it is. I'm sorry, spirits. There you go. Hopefully that puts us on better terms. Right, well, let's go and check out what we got over here then. Any oars? Oh, doesn't look like it actually. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, then, well, I guess, given that there are no oars, yeah, we'll go down the mine then. Um... Agro, I may need to ask you to make your own way home. I hope I don't have to, but we'll see. Right, let's go and drop off everything we don't need. I'm going to go down into the copper levels today, I think. Let's not worry about the uh, upper levels. Um, or rather, the lower levels, <laughs> technically. Uh, let's pop everything in there and make sure it's all kind of arranged properly. In fact, just in case I do need to bail, I'll bring my watering can with me so that it, it's at least with me and I don't have to come hunt for it. I'll leave that behind, though. That's not as necessary for me to have with me. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go down to 25. Hello. Nope. Nope. Also, you know. There we go. Uh, we do need to start recovering the rocks a little bit because we are very much out of rocks right now. Thanks to all the uh, stone that we just spent. I mean, we can buy it, as you've seen, but it doesn't necessarily... I mean, uh, we spent a lot of money on buying the rocks in the wood there. I think it would be best if we don't do that as much in the future. And um, for just coming down into the mines and then just mining a little bit, it's hardly the worst thing I could spend my time doing. Hello. There we are. Wonderful. Let's see what else we can get. I'm okay with that. Especially because I can kill you very easily. There we go. And no ores, though. And no earth crystals, either, which is a little bit of a shame. I'd like to find more of those insects. Oh, there we are. Loads of copper. Spoke too soon, apparently. I mean, ultimately, it's a bad luck day, so I can't expect too much from all of this, but I was a little bit surprised that we hadn't seen anything yet. We're at level 27, so got a little ways to go. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Ooh, lots of maggots over there that I'm going to have to deal with. And quickly at that, so that they don't turn into flies. Oh, that was terrible. Why did I not have the right weapon? I just said I need to deal with them quickly. Oh, you get. Okay, well... It's getting late now, and I'm not really finding anything particularly useful. I'm glad to have the copper, and the geodes for that matter. But I do need some iron, so maybe I should just jump into the elevator and go down. Um, no, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow, I think. Because I may have better luck then, so it'll be an easier journey. There we are. Grab you. Got a fair bit of bug meat as well from all of this, which is good. There we go. Now, will there be a minecart down here? I don't think the minecarts ever refill with coal, even though it's more or less a procedural level. Right, okay, we do need to skedaddle at this point, so let's just head on back up. And out... Uh, I'm afraid, Agro, you are going to have to find your own way home tonight. I'll just use this to be a little bit faster. This area is infested. That's fine. I'm leaving. Uh, right. We want more or less everything we can fit. Um, is there anything? We got an ancient seed? I completely missed that. People have probably been waiting for me to notice that in the, co <laughs> in the comments. Ah, oh, so unobservant sometimes. 
Okay, well that's good enough for me, I think. Let's go ahead and just make all of the bug meat into bait, because then I can carry one more thing with me. Uh, we'll take the sap, I guess, this time. Uh, yeah, sorry, Agro. I, I have no doubt that you can make your own way home, though. Agro is always dependable like that. No matter how far you teleport after this, uh, slaying some sort of giant part of a demon, it's fine. Agro will always be there when you wake back up again. This is just something you can rely on. Uh, okay, I, need, I do need to drop these off. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a stack all mechanic, uh, much as you have in um, Terraria. That would be glorious. Let's get those going. It's 1am. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, right. Let me just drop these off. Uh, more or less everything else can go into the produce bin, though. That can go. Those can definitely go. Um, yeah, sure, that can go as well. The ancient seed, obviously, is coming with us. That will be dropped off into the seed maker shortly. Where am I storing those? There they are. Let's bring those with me. And I think that is it for tonight, then. There we are. No star leaf in. And into bed. There we go, not too bad. We made quite a lot of money there. The two large milks, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Getting iridium on those is amazing. Five grand. Not bad. We uh, made back almost half of what we spent today. All right. Ooh, we've got quite a few things. Um, I'm going to get some hops going. There we go. There we go. Perfect. That actually worked out well. And some grape jam, I think. Okay, what's on the television today? A new episode of Living Off the Land. If you really want to make someone happy, give them their favourite gift on their birthday. Trust me. Well, okay. <laughs> Duh. Uh, let's see. They're in good humour. Fantastic. We were right to wait on trying to mine for iron there. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Marvellous. Hello, Agro. I hope the walk back wasn't too bad. Uh, right. We want to drop these off. We'll keep the pale ale, though. What have we got here? Uh, I need something else in my inventory. Dear Avak, here is an old recipe that my grandma passed down to me. Enjoy. Robin. Pumpkin soup. Ooh. Marvellous. Ooh, more as well. Found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build with it or something. Thank you very much, George. George must have heard me complaining about the stone I just used up. Dear Avak, I would like to give you some information about an upcoming event. The Feast of the Winter Star. It's a time for the community to come together and think back on all the good fortune we've had this year. A favourite tradition is the secret gift exchange, where everyone in town is randomly assigned to someone else. On the day of the festival, everyone brings a gift for their secret friend and surprises them with something special. This year, your secret friend is... Marnie! Oh, wonderful! Don't tell anyone. The feast will take place on the 25th from 10am to 2pm at the town square. See you then, Mayor Lewis. That is fantastic. I'm very happy that I'm going to be able to give Marnie something nice. Uh, let's grab these and get that going. Uh, we'll pop that back into my rod there. Uh, right. Okay, so first and foremost, hello, Leaf In. And let's water that bowl. And then. Oh, you can fit through there. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and drop off these. And the copper as well. Now we can start work on the gold. We're going to be working on this for a little while. There we go. I actually forgot that we had so many gold in the chest, otherwise I would have already been uh, smelting it yesterday. Oh well. Alright. Agro, could you please take me down to the cows? Hey, Robin. Don't mind me. Right then. Let's see. Hello. 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 
I want to say hello to all of you. There we go. Now we can safely milk. Iridium. Gold. And I have no idea. Oh, actually a regular one. Oh, sorry. Apparently I've done something bad. Uh, sure, it looks like today's going to be a complete day with... Well, actually, no, I'll keep the Iridium milk. Um, No, no, I won't. I, I don't think Iridium small milk is better than regular cheese. I might be wrong there, though, but either way, I'd prefer the cheese, to be perfectly honest, um, for pepper poppers. There we go. It's not all about money, you understand. Ooh, loads of stones. Fantastic. All right, let's go and see the chickens and, of course, the ducks. Ah, uh, Can't wait until we got our last duck as well. I should have been um, incubating one for a long time. It was a bit dumb that I hadn't. All right, there we go. And we'll get the duck egg in there. Um, two large white eggs. Can I, can I squeeze through? No? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And we'll get this set up as well. I am thinking that we'll head to the mines again today. Simply because we need the iron. And the mining is something that's really good to do on days where you've got nothing else that you need to do. Basically. Uh, nothing new in there. Let's go check on the greenhouse. And, ooh, peppers first and foremost. Fantastic. No, don't eat the pepper, you silly boy. And blueberries, lots of, and also, and this is a big one, star fruit. Uh, they're not ready yet. They looked ready, but they're not. All right, so first and foremost, let's get that in there. Oh, no, 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 no. I need. I just need to create that one. Ancient seed, there we go. Right, let's get you down. Fantastic. And then we can place my star fruit into the seed makers. And I'll check on those later. Right, okay, so uh, we'll go and make some pepper poppers. I may also drop some of the flooring down ready for the area that I'm going to be... Uh, let's grab all of those. Three, dunk. Let's see, did I get rid of the gold one? Good, 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 good. But uh, I'm also going to place down the flooring, I think, in front of the barn where we're going to have it. May as well, since I know exactly where it's going. Uh, we will drop off the large eggs and the mayo and the blueberries. Um, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we won't drop off the blueberries. Maybe we'll keep those blueberries. We might end up with... Yeah, I may end up going and uh, popping those into the seed maker as well. And we'll get a little area for blueberries going. Since they're, they're quite good for money. We've got a little bit of pine tar as well. That is so much better than I was expecting it to be. Just this many trees of each type and, and we're completely sorted. Completely sorted. Uh, I'm going to need a couple of things actually. Uh, wood. There we go. So have we got any in here? We do, actually, so I might not need it. Uh, you know what? Sure. I'm... In fact, I'm going to do a little bit of work on the rest of the farm as well. On the paths. Right, so first and foremost, how I got it over here? Uh, I've got it all the way across to the side. Okay, so one there. One there, and then I just need two more. Let's make those. And then we can get these placed down. Perfect. That looks lovely. And then over here, um, you know what? I think about here maybe we'll drag this cross. Uh... Yes, I think we will. We'll place it to about here. Across there. I'm not going to have enough to finish that, unfortunately. But, we can then make a little gate. Pop that one in there. And we can at the very least make the last couple of uh, 
tiles that we need. There we go. Lovely. We just need about three more hardwood, I would say, to get that up to there. And then this, is, this will be our little wilderness area, just, just kind of off to the side. Everything else will be considered farmland and will be developed in some way or another. Uh, we could actually go and pick up the hardwood. Yeah, let's let's do that, and then we'll come back this way as well. There you go. Let's go and see if we can't find Jazz. If she's in her house, then I can give her a crocus. Hello? Oh, wow, no one's home. Very well. Never mind then. Let's just head over to the Lost Woods, grab some hardwood, then we'll head up to the mines, I think. See if we can't get the iron for Clint. I really would like to get another mail machine, though. And soon at that, so... Normally, I will be focusing on going into the... Uh, copper areas. Because that's the only place I've really seen... Um, the earth crystals show up. I mean, it might be lucky, and it's possible that the merchant will have an earth crystal every now and then, but we're probably going to pay through the nose for that. Whereas it's a fairly common item otherwise. There we go. I'm not going to go down to get the others. I only need this much. So we'll save a little bit of time and get to the mine a little, little sooner. I've got enough food on me that I'm not going to bother going to the... In fact, why am I not eating a pepper popper right now so that we all move faster? That's a bit silly. But, uh... Oh, no. I've got enough food on me that I really don't need to go to the mine. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. If I had coffee, I would also drink that right now. Also, we can drop off my, uh... Equipment, too. Since I know I'm not going to need to take it with me. And that will leave me a much better inventory for... Gathering all the loot from our mining run. There we go. Perfect. I'm liking this. Put that into the fishing rod. Okay, right. So, we just need to drop off our tools. Ooh. We also need to pop some more gold into the furnaces. I wonder if there's a gold to iridium smelting recipe. That would seem a little bit OP if there was. But I wonder... Might be something to look into at some point. Uh, drop that off. Drop that off. I'm not going to need my hatchet or my fishing rod or my watering can with me. Um, just quickly go in and drop off the periwinkle. I don't really need most of these. But for quite a lot of them, I will just drop them off in the... Uh, area outside the mine. There we go. In fact, Agro, since I'm going to the mine, you might as well just, you know, have a day off. Enjoy. There should be plenty of hay in, in your feed trough, even though I never put anything in it. Not sure how that works. Ooh. You've already got that one. Never mind. Right, to the mines. Now we can drop off all of these, as we just don't need that many things. Okay, so we're going to go down to level 14. We're going to start from here and try and find ourselves a... Oh, there we are. Some iron. Marvellous. There we go. Now we've got to find our way down. Unfortunately, there we go. I was going to say, it doesn't look like I'm going to find that nest uh, very easily. A wooden mallet, really super don't care. It doesn't do as much damage as what we've got, so I'm just going to bin that straight away. Uh, really not necessary for us. Hello. I'm sorry. Uh, I say hello with a sword. Uh, it is bad of me, I know. I feel bad, for what it's worth. Let's see if we can't find a way down. There we go. Well, we've already got enough iron to do what we want. So, once we get to level 45, I'm actually going to take the elevator to the copper area. So that we can continue looking for earth crystals. 
Damn it. Damn it. There we go. And you again. Loads of stone coming from there now. We're actually not going to be far off having enough stone to um, get another barn if we wanted to. Or perhaps, what I would prefer, upgrade one of those barns. Move all the cows into the lower tier barn, and then fill the other one with goats. I think that would be marvellous, but it's going to be costly, unfortunately. Goats are not cheap. Not at all. However, there is a possibility that the goats will simply breed, because the uh, second tier barn allows the animals in it to breed. Which is impressive, because uh, as far as I'm aware, they're all the same sex. There we go. And we did pick up a dwarf scroll right there. Which I'm quite happy with. That's dwarf scroll number four. So we only need one now. But I forget which dwarf scroll we're looking for. There we go. Ow! Stop it. And where was the way down? I'm sure there was one. Yes, there it is. Come here, you! I need to slay a certain number of bats. Nope. 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 It's 7.20. We've got a little bit more time in the mines. I would say we could happily go a little bit further. And that is go back up. But I'm going to clear out this level first, just in case there's... Uh, Something nice to find. I mean, the spirits are in a good mood with us today, so... Sometimes you specifically want to come out when they're not in a good mood with you, because then you've got a better chance of getting an infested level. Right, well, that's that. Let's head back up and use the elevator. And we'll go down to level 35. There we go. Nope. Sorry. But no. Actually, I don't particularly like level 35 because this is where it gets really dark. We'll go back down to level 25. There we go. Got a decent amount of copper, no doubt. It's the earth crystals we're looking for, though. Grab you. Also wouldn't mind hitting some more of those um, digging, burrowing enemies. Hello. Nope. There we go. Cherry bomb. Anything in here for me to attack? No. That is quite the shame. Oh well, onwards. Ooh, have this, nice. There we go, an earth crystal. So that's another mayo machine right there. Fantastic. Very, very happy. Any digging, burrowing enemies? No. Oh well. Nope. Not in the mood today. Okay, making fairly good progress. It is nine o'clock though. So I'm going to have to bear that in mind. Um, another amethyst. Oh, the spirits really are happy with me today. I approve of their, of their uh, happiness. I wish I could get all of that coal. Can I get all of that coal? No. I was wondering if there, there's just something I'd never tried the first time I played. But no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well. Uh, we'll go on until about 12, I think. It's a good amount of time there. Plus, we'll get a couple more kills while we're down here. Insects. I think we've got all of the insect kills that we needed, unfortunately. So it is the bats, the burrowing enemies, the dust sprites, the skeletons. I think we also need to get. Get rid of you. There we are. Anything down here? No. Anything over here? Yes. There we are. Come here. Thank you. And uh, what about over here? I mean, if nothing else, I do get a decent amount of um, bait from that. Oh, good. Infested areas are good areas. When you're specifically just trying to kill everything. We may aim to, to get some of, the, or even all of the... Uh, Unlocked adventure guild things. I, I felt quite bad that I wasn't able to get many of them last time. I think we only got two? 
I'm not even sure which one it was. I know we got the insect one because we had the uh, particular dagger that they came, they come with. But uh, other than that, there we are. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. And you're the last. There we go. Right. A way down has appeared. Let's go. And ooh, I'll grab you since you're right there and then straight back up. There we are. That was not a bad little run in the mine. Not a bad little run in the mine at all, actually. Uh, we'll grab a little bit of everything and bring back with us. Yes, I like it. And back to the bus stop. There we go. And I don't have to feel guilty this time because we left aggro behind. Uh, even though I know that the, the, the horse can, can get back, I do feel guilty. I, I dislike leaving them behind. It feels horrible. All right, let's uh, drop off a little bit of everything, really. Uh, drop these off, drop that off. Drop that off. I'm going to go ahead. All right, what do we need for that? Fiber and slimes. Yes, let's, let's go ahead. We've got enough. So let's make all of that into the particularly good bait. And then the rest into that. Now, I need me a bar of iron. And you know what? Since we've got enough, I'll just put all of them in there. We can... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Drop all that off. Um, we're going to need some more copper. Obviously, drop off the gold as well. Let's just organize all of that because it's a little bit messy. Uh, we've got those in there. The aquamarines do not go in there. The aquamarines go over here. And that geode will go there too. And at this point, I will pick up my tools again. Um, oops, that is not what I meant to do. Uh, drop that off. Dwarf scroll will come with me. And other than that, I think we did a pretty good run, honestly. I'll drop off the coal as well. Okay, well, that was all good. Let's just load that up. I'll keep the bait on me for now. I will drop off the prehistoric bone, but that's the only thing that we're going to be dropping off today, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, well, it's not going to be a great day for earnings, but it doesn't always have to be. No, Starleaf in. Don't burn yourself next to the fire now. Ooh, there we go. Level 8 mining. We can now make the Mega Bomb, which I, I'll be honest, I very rarely find a use for. I think it is better to make the, um, the regular bomb, the one tier below this one, out of iron ore and coal I think it is as it blows up a large enough area that because the mega bomb is it's kind of overkill you're really going to get out of the way of the blast radius and it's uncommon to get that much stone clustered that closely around maybe the quarry the mega bomb would would actually be worth its value but I think that the the regular bomb is a little bit better uh, if I have a look at that one. What's the recipe for that one? Yeah, just four iron ore and one coal is better than four gold ore, one solar essence and one void essence. That's a lot. That's an awful lot. But that is going to be it for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, though, and will be joining me for the next. Remember to like if you like, sub if you haven't, and until next time, do take care, everyone. <laughs>